Hi, what is going on YouTubers? Offman here from Top Tech Tips and today I have my review of the U-Watch U8 smartwatch. Now this smartwatch is different from mainstream smartwatch. Two reasons, one being it's a Chinese smartwatch so it's really hard to find in the shops and two, you can actually make calls from it. Hello? Yo man, where are you? Yeah, um, I'll be there in two seconds. So without further ado, let's just get on with this video review. Now in terms of design, the U-Watch looks beautiful, has a nice metallic look to it but one thing I really want to talk about is when this device boots up and shuts down. Yeah, it's got that very cheesy Chinese music as well as a very cheesy slogan. So there you go, you know it's a Chinese product. So on the right hand side of the device we have the power button, on the left hand side we have a speaker a mini USB port to charge the device and a microphone and at the back this is where the battery is going to be which is 230 milliamps. Up at the front we have a 1.48 inch capacitive touchscreen with three buttons, the first one being the menu button, the second one being the volume button and the third one being the back button. The watch does look very slick, it has a rubber band which seems to be quite durable. I've hit the watch's surface quite a few times on doors, on cabinets etc and it's still in working order which is nice to see. It's a pretty decent watch, there's no problem on using it with my left hand which is where I tend to wear a watch but the only problem I probably had is with the companion app. Now when you get this product you will have to download the companion app of an FTP server that is provided in the instruction manual within the box. Now this companion app is a bit all over the place. So essentially once you've actually connected the device via Bluetooth you would already need to have the app pre-downloaded and then it will automatically run once it senses the watch is connected. Now of course there are different modes such as sleep and sports mode because this can double up also as a sports watch. So you can track your fitness, how much you walk, etc. But to me the companion app itself looks very clustered, it's not very clean and can get a bit complicated sometimes. Just my personal preference on it, I don't really see the need for this companion app that much. Instead what I would have liked to see is downloading separate applications or widgets that work with the watch itself. Now the U-Watch of course has an inbuilt speaker where you can listen to calls or in fact listen to music. That's right, listen to this sound test. So the U-Watch in fact has a music application inbuilt into it which is of course connected to all the phones on your smartphone. So you can play, rewind, forward tracks, you can even control volume. But the volume control only works for the U-Watch speaker itself. If you're playing this on your phone and you're wearing headphones, you can play forward and rewind tracks but you won't be able to control the volume which is a major downside. Of course, now what is the major standpoint of this U-Watch is that the fact you can make phone calls. Now I've used this feature quite a bit and it's quite interesting. When you're making a phone call, you can check, you can answer the call and hang up the call all from your smartwatch. Of course, you're going to look a bit weird if you're on the street and you're talking to a watch. It's a bit far-fetched, but it does make me feel a bit like James Bond. Now in terms of call quality, I could hear the person quite well. Now if, let's just say if I was in a loud place, I wouldn't be able to hear them well because that speaker isn't quite powerful. But the microphone does do it justice, the other person told me they can hear me quite clearly and that worked well. The battery is amazing with this device, it took about 4 hours to charge in total to 100% and then when I was using it, it lasted me to about 3-4 to four days and that is amazing. One thing I don't understand is why is there a flap covering the port of the micro USB port? Um, this watch is not waterproof, so why is it there? It is a bit annoying, especially when, a charge, when you want to charge up the device because you've got to move that out of the way and then plug in the micro USB cable. It is a bit long. The interface of the watch looks pretty nice, clean and cut. There are different themes, so you can change it up. Now, there are also different apps such as Bluetooth, notifications. You can actually ha dial numbers straight from the smartwatch because there's a dialer inbuilt. You can also see your text messages, but you won't be able to write text messages, which is quite a downside. Also, you won't be able to check something like emails, there is no email option built into the U-Watch, which is another downside. But there are also other options such as ringtone control, power safe control, there are barometers, pedometers, so you smart um, stopwatches, so you can actually keep track of your fitness life, which is another useful option for this watch. So it doubles up as a smartwatch and a fitness watch. 
For what I have to say, this is a very interesting watch for the price and for other features that it has. It is quite different from other smartwatches that you may want to invest. But overall, if I was to wrap it up in one sentence, I would probably say that it's just like the Sony smartwatch first generation, but instead you are able to make calls on it. But it would be nice to see um, custom APK files to be added on this watch so you can have like maybe a WhatsApp um, notifier or something like that but sadly that's not available. And thank you guys for watching this video please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, add me on Facebook, Instagram, the works, everything you need to know is in the description and of course if you do want to pick up this watch you can find the link in the description for it. So I thank you guys for watching this video once again and I will see you guys in my next video.